everyone, Janie here. Thanks for stopping by today. I truly appreciate you all so much. Today I have a project that I really hope you like, and if you do, it would mean so much to me if you would give this a thumbs up and share it. And also, I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you do, I hope you click on that little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you all so much, and now let's get started. Today is the launch of the Vintage Library Junk Journal Project Pack by Victoria Designs, and I am honored to be creating with this digital project pack today. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is some of the things you'll find in this project pack. Even though it's for journals, today I'm going to be using it to make something else because I'm pretty sure that Tina from Victoria Designs will be sharing a journal in her video, and I will have a link below in the description box to that video and to the Victoria Designs YouTube channel, and I will also have a link to this project. Project pack. Today I'm going to be sharing a beautiful stationery kit that I made with this project pack. But before I do, I wanted to share some advantages with you of using digital um, products like this. And one of those advantages is that you can print full page if you would like, or you can print half page. So this is a half page and this is a half page. I could have printed this out as one full page, but I have that advantage because it's digital and so I can print it out however I want. And another advantage is that you can print, let me grab these two because they're the same, you have different print qualities. So you can print it out at high quality, which looks like this. You can print it out in normal quality ink which looks like this, so it is definitely an ink saver. And you can also print it out in draft or quick print, which makes it even lighter. And that's what I did for like the stationery and envelopes. So those are a couple of advantages. And another advantage, well, it's the same advantage as I showed before about printing out a full page, or here, I printed it out half page so there you go you can see that they're the same only it's just right here and because I wanted this for the cover I actually flipped this side so that they're opposite and it'll work for the front cover and the back cover and all of these things you can do in your um, the ink qualities is done in your printing you know it has to do with your printer you don't have to have a special program for that and for cropping things or printing, you know, half pages or two things on a page, those you can do in um, Publisher, in Word, in Photoshop, in whatever program you have. And I know that there's even some free programs that you can find online. So with all that said, let's get over to the project that I made to share with you today. So as I said, I wanted to make something other than a journal, so I've decided to make a stationary gift set. And I'm going to have a link below in the description box, as well as right here on the screen and on the screen at the end of this video, to the tutorial on how to make this. And I'm also going to have a link in those three places to another video that shows how I did the stationary papers and envelopes and cards. So you'll be able to watch both videos and see how to do everything. Okay, so let's get started. This is what I did. And I love that this cover actually is part of the kit. Let me show you really quick. You saw me show earlier this one and how I did, you know, the front and back. Well, <laughs> as you can see, I didn't use it. It's because I actually measured wrong and misjudged the size. But it's just really awesome to have that cover as a part of this kit. It is just gorgeous. And what I did, and I'm hoping it'll show up, but I used Mod Podge on the spine cover and Mod Podge on these corners because I wanted to give it kind of a leather look for those pieces and I love the way that it came out it is just gorgeous and all of this gold trim is just gold cardstock from Michaels 
and I used it everywhere layering things and I just thought it gave it such a rich look I just love that look and it actually wasn't something I had originally planned it's just one of those things that you're making it and you go you know this really needs that <laughs> so there's that and then this little label that I put on there that is also from the kit actually everything you are going to see is from the kit and if it's not I'll tell you how about that <laughs> so there was that and I cut out the words from the kit and inked the edges and put them on there I was actually hoping that there had been something that said letters or notes so I could add that but there was not so love from me is good enough and then in my tutorial you're going to see that I have a ribbon closure but on this one I decided to do a magnetic closure and I really thought that looked a lot better with this overall look than having a ribbon on the side and I attached this on the back with rivets and so I just think the whole look is just gorgeous just the cover itself absolutely gorgeous um, and then I added this little button which just isn't a button it this is like an old earring I picked up at a second-hand store I do that a lot I'll see things and go ooh that might come in handy someday <laughs> and lo and behold it came in handy so there is the beautiful cover and now we're going to open it up and take a look at what is on the inside so we have a pocket here that holds the envelopes and I just printed these out on regular copy paper, printer paper, and I used my envelope punch board to make them. And I just love how if you do it just right, you're going to get an image right here on the flap. I think that looks so nice. And then we have another pocket right here, and that pocket goes all the way to the bottom and holds the stationery for writing your letters and these are printed on both sides I'll grab one and flip it over here so it's printed on both sides so it's just beautiful for writing your letters and I just used a variety of the papers that came with the kit for that as well and also these were printed out lighter as you can tell they're not as dark as the rest of it and I thought that was best for um, envelopes and the stationery to write on and I just love the paper that came with this kit. I really hated to hide any of it, to be honest with you. It is just so gorgeous. So one of the things that I wanted to point out right here is earlier I said that, you know, you can use Photoshop or um, Publisher, Word, things like that. But if you don't have any of those or don't know how to use them, I'm going to tell you that you can just print it out full sheet on your printer. Use whatever your printer sittings are that you need, um, that you know how to use, and print it out full sheet and then cut it down to the sizes you need. And that's actually what I did here. So this all the way across was one sheet. As you can tell, they all go together. Even you can see the pins coming across over to there and they'd be behind here. So I just printed it out and then cut it down to the sizes that I needed. So if you don't have any editing programs or don't know how to use them, you can still use these, okay? So now let's move on to another part. Let me stick these back in really quick. Okay, and we're gonna move over here to the center where there's this little pocket and this little pocket is perfect for holding your um, postage stamps it's perfect for holding postcards which by the way I just cut this out from the kit and adhered it to some cardstock and we've got a couple of cute little postcards right there so that's what the center flap is for and now we're gonna flip that over and we have a pen holder that just holds your pen right there for you. I love that. In fact, actually, it's so cute. Let me see if I can get it back out again because I just, there we go. 
I happen to work it just right so it looks like that pin is going through it. <laughs> I just love these papers. They're great and they're perfect for this. So now we're to the back and let me pull them out. So I chose to use one of the pockets that actually comes in the kit instead of creating a pocket of my own. In my tutorial you'll see that I have created a corner pocket back here, but I like this one much better and it also allows for this beautiful paper to be seen. So there we go, that's just another part of that kit. I love, love, love it. And these are note cards. These are not greeting cards. Now if you wanted to decorate them and add birthday sentiments and things like that to them, you can do that. But what I've created is little note cards, okay, where you can write to somebody and just write a message in here, fold it up, and stick it in an envelope and mail it. So these fit in those envelopes. The stationery fits in the envelopes. And these cards, front and back, because these were actually pages for the journal and they're just gorgeous but they're also perfect just to score down the middle as you would if it was a page but they're printed on cardstock and scored and made into a card so there are all of these beautiful cards and if you were doing a journal, these would be great for in your journal, whether it's for pages or um, signatures. And as you can tell when you saw this, there are pages that you can use for pages <laughs> in your journal that have plenty of writing space. So not all of the pages have all of these beautiful designs on them. And that goes right in there. And that completes this. This is a perfect little gift set for someone or even for yourself. Because even in this day and age of Facebook and Messenger and email, I think there's plenty of people that still like to get something special in the mail. So there we go. And I hope you like this. And like I said, tutorial links will be below in the description box as well as on the screen here as my video is ending. Oh, and don't forget, there's also a link below in the description box to this project pack as well as a link to Victoria Design's YouTube channel where you can watch what Tina has to show you today. Happy crafting everyone! Bye bye! If you like this video I hope you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed I hope you consider that too and if you do be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.